Good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys very much for being here today. I appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing well. One second, guys. Sorry. Okay, we're back. What's on your mind? And watch your back. Now, I did send myself a little bit of gold from some of the other characters that I have on the server. Uh, mostly, they were hardcore characters that died and got sent here. So, I feel like I've earned this gold. And I don't feel guilty about sending it over. Uh, I think I'm going to buy a couple of bags. I'm not going to I'm not gonna buy all four bags. What can I do for you? Because as soon as I do that, I'm going to find a bunch of bags. So I'm going to buy two bags off the general goods vendor. And we'll just kind of go from there. If I, if I don't find any bags by the end of today, then I'll probably buy a couple more. But I know that if I fill my slots up, we're going we're gonna to find stuff. Maybe I should just buy a couple. If I'm going to buy just a couple... Maybe I should just buy a couple 8 slots. It's my inheritance. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of how I feel. Yeah, there's two different paladins. One from Bloodsail Buccaneers who did not die, but who I transferred over because I retired him. And then the other pally was the level 39 pally that fell off the boat. So yeah, I feel like I earned this gold. Uh, I'm going to buy two 8 slot bags. Which I normally probably would never do. And in fact, you might you might go so far as to say I could have found a better deal on the auction house, but uh, we'll do that for now. Off with you. And we'll see how that goes. And then if we're really lucky, we'll find a couple of six slot bags of like some pretty colors. Do I want to set my hearthstone here, or do I want to leave it in in gold? There's not really a good reason what to leave I it in Goldshire. If I want to fly back, I can just jump on a flight. Good. Yeah, I mean the 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 only person who's allowed to call me Robbie uh, are my grandparents, like some of whom are no longer with us. <laughs> 
So you could do that if you want to, just don't expect a reply from me. Because I don't answer to that name. going to be one of those days. Everybody just take a couple of deep breaths. It's going to be okay. It's just a Saturday. It's just a chill Saturday stream. Good afternoon, good evening, men. Welcome to the stream. Watch your back. Thanks for being here. Be good. What can I get for you today? All right, we picked up everything. Uh, let's let's just head out in this direction. I want to make my way over to Rumble Shot's ammo. I want to fight some Yeti. We'll head out to Brunel Village, and we'll just kind of kill things on the way. And herb, all of the herbs. There are bound to be a million herbs here. Dunmoro is the best spot for herbing. Let me know if any of the sound settings have to be adjusted. I've, uh, I turned the music down just a little bit. I turned the music just a, a little bit down from yesterday. So let me know if that ends up being too quiet. I still feel like the sound effects are loud. Uh, yeah, they're back up to 30%. That's so weird. I could have swore I bumped them down to 25%. Let's try that. That sounds good for me. Right, there we go. Why don't I buy bags at the auction house? They're much cheaper there. Uh, because I'm a hasty buffoon. Yeah, I'm a hasty buffoon. Sometimes I do stuff and then I, I think about it afterwards. You know, I, I have to admit that after checking out like the auction house prices the other day for light leather and for medium leather and stuff, a part of me really wants to do skinning and herbalism. I mean, I I like the idea of making my own potions though, but yeah, I'm really I'm really missing out on the skinning. I, I hate killing the animals and then not being able to at least skin them. It always strikes me as super wasteful, especially after leveling up so many skinners. I always feel like, what am I doing? Why am I why am I not skinning these? Then again, I, I wonder how much like overall time, if you were to calculate like how long it takes to skin an enemy, and then multiply that across the playthrough to how many times you skinned an enemy, I wonder how many hours that turns out to be. I bet there are numbers. I bet I could like I bet I could Google like how many how many hours to level up skinning or maybe something like that would give you an idea of like just how long it takes to like skin every single mob. I bet on like a 150 hour leveling campaign it adds like quite a substantial amount. I'm going to say I'm going to say 10 hours. Nah, maybe maybe that's too much. Maybe like 7 or 8 hours of just like the skinning bar just just going every time you go to skin stuff. It, it probably adds a lot of time.
Mm, I didn't make it to the exact spot that I wanted to. That's true. I, I kind of, I, I might turn off, uh, like, objective tracking. I really just want to track where the quests are at and where the quests turn in. And so I might take a look here for a second and see if maybe I can just turn off objective tracking. Um, objectives completed, yes. Um, hmm. Icons, maybe? Yeah, here we go. Objectives. Okay, yeah, I like that. Let's... And then if I, if I really can't find something, which I know where most of the objectives are at, then we can just toggle it back on for a second. But then this way, like, I can, I can see my map. Yeah, I think... I think that's, that's good. Now I can see where I'm actually going. Now, now I actually realize, I, I, like, I thought I was going the wrong way, but no, I'm going where I want to go. The map was simply so cluttered that I couldn't see. So yeah, I was trying to head over here. Yeah, skinning is really good for money. I, I wonder, like, the money might be worth it more than being able to make my own potions, especially because, you know, we're not, we're not playing hardcore. So yes, everything matters, like every little bit helps out. But it's not like a make or break end of the world scenario. Like, I'm not gonna be like, oh damn, if I only had a healing pot, you know? If I only had that armor potion running, then I would have lived. Like, I, it's not gonna be a situation like that. I think I might, I might pick up skinning. Yeah, because the prices on the auction house, <clears throat> people were selling stacks of even like medium leather for like a gold and a half, two gold a stack. And that's pretty good. Like, some of the prices for stacks of light leather were approaching a, a single gold, so... Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna untrack alchemy, and then we'll find a... We, we might have to go to Ironforge. To get a leather worker, or get a skinner. What did I just track? I tracked leather working, didn't I? Yes, I tracked leather working, because I'm an idiot. There we go. Okay. Um, and yeah, there looks like there's not really like any skinners anywhere around. So we'll have to make a stop at Ironforge. If only we could mine and herb and skin. If only we could. Maybe, like, I, it'd be cool if the gathering professions were just called, like, gathering. Like, let's say that it's just called gathering. And when you take gathering, you gain the ability to get herbs, skins, and ores. And then you can have gathering, and then you could have one other profession. That would be cool. That way, like, it doesn't open up, like, all professions to everybody, but yeah, you can, you can take gathering, and then you can gather everything, and then you can take one other thing. That'd be a neat way to handle it. Yeah, some people do alts, right, 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 like, have an alt with, uh, with mining. Don't get lazy, sell your stacks at random vendors. <laughs> I love how you like called them random vendors to like, to degradate them more. Like to just make the choice seem worse. You're not like, just like, don't, don't vendor them. You're like, don't sell them to rando vendors. Those scumbag rando vendors, they get you every time. That was a nice touch. I'll, yeah, I will try to put them on the, once I get a stack, like I'm not going to sell stuff individually. I will put stacks up on the auction house. I do have a bank alt, so that's an option, although with bank alts, I typically send a bunch of stuff over to my bank alt, and then I never log into my bank alt. Which is obviously, that kind of like defeats the purpose of a bank alt, so... I don't know if sending them to the bank alt is a good idea. I think I ought to try to like, get them on the auction house every time I'm in town. Assuming I have at least a stack. And now that now the thing is like the big problem here is like I'm about to rip through this Yeti cave and like I really don't want to do that without skinning. If that, if that's the route we're going to go, I think I'm going to take the couple minutes here to uh head back to Iron Forge and pick up skinning. If that's the route that we're going to go, and I think that it is. I I don't want to be ripping through the Yeti cave and like leaving all the skins behind cuz I'll probably get to like 50 or 60 just killing everything around here. So yeah, let, let's go do that really quick. 
I'll try to like, I'll fight some stuff on the way, just for like, just to keep our XP going. Is there any way that you can donate me some money? Yeah, there's lots of ways. You, you, could, you could do any number of things to pay me. You could gift memberships, there is a donate button. Uh, you could do a super chat, there's, there's a couple different things you could do. Now, depending on what device you're on, you may, if you're on like an iPhone, and you're watching through the YouTube app on an iPhone, I know that like the iPhones, there, there's no like, certain options are missing basically. Like, I, th I think subscriptions are missing, I think donators may be missing on the iPhones, uh, because, like, the way the Apple Store works, like, they would have to get a cut. And YouTube doesn't want to give them a cut, so there's just no functionality, like, on the- on iPhones to, like, do- do some of those functions. But yeah, the possibilities are out there, and I appreciate the thought. What also really helps out a lot more than people realize or give credit is like just leaving a like. Leaving a like, making sure you're subbed to the channel, ringing the bell, all that stuff really helps out. And that does not require any real life money transaction. Stan, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Dante, thank you for the membership, man. I really appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Alex, super chats are available on the iPhone. Yeah, it must be it must be either the donate or something like that. I remember people telling me that there was a one of the payment functions didn't exist. Camping King, good afternoon. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Amy, did I decide about your message? Have I looked at your message and decided? I think maybe tomorrow would be a good time. Unless you were like really set on doing it today. I don't know why. I think like Sunday maybe it'd be slower, but maybe not with the help with the uh, spring break weekend. I don't know. Am I on YouTube full-time, or do I got a job? Uh, whether I answer that will depend on whether this is the first time you've ever said anything on my channel. Uh, let's see. Channel activity. Duh, camera's out of focus. How does one- Okay, so you've been around. Uh, I don't have what you would call a job. Nope. But I do not do this full-time. This is not a job for me. A full-time job is somewhere that where you go for eight hours a day where somebody else pays you money, and you gotta punch it in out of a clock, and that's not what this is. Uh, people like Co Carnage and Asmongold do this full time. That's not what I'm doing. Iron Forge music is probably a little bit loud. I turned it down a little bit in OBS. Sorry if it's blowing anybody's eardrums out. Uh, let's see. I love somebody, somebody asked me, like, what I do for a living if I have a job, and the response is like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Not that question. Don't, don't ask him that. It, it really, it always depends on, like, if someone is coming in and they're asking that for the first time, and that's the first I've ever heard of them, or, or if they've been around for a little bit. Like, my reaction to that one. Okay, let's drop, we have to drop, uh, one of our, one of our skills here. Alchemy. Bye-bye, alchemy. Get her back. 
Now, I used to be a corporate training developer. Uh, but then, you know, I lost that job before, even before the pandemic. And uh, I haven't really, I haven't really engaged in what you would call the workforce uh, very much since then. How did I get 50 gold already? I cheated. I sent it to myself. I have a couple of hardcore characters who died, and I, I transferred them to this realm when they died. And so I feel like I earned that money, because I earned it on hardcore characters that I lost at like, you know, one of them died at level 39, one of them I retired at level 47. So yeah, I sent myself their gold. It's We're calling it my character's inheritance uh, from a couple of past hardcore tunes. Other, uh, AKA cheating. Cheating, yeah. But I, did, but I didn't take it from anybody else. Well, I might have at some point. <laughs> the gold might have come from somebody else at some point, back on the hardcore characters, I don't remember. I think I, I, think I earned it all myself. Speaking, speaking of money, thank you, thank you for reminding me about money. Yeah, thank you for because we have to spend some of it. I need to get a I need to get a two-handed weapon set going. And also, speaking of weapon sets, let's big brain it and we'll train some weapons while we're here. Uh, what do I want to grab? I'd love to get like a two-handed sword, but there's probably more like two-handed axes. Uh, we are level nine. Let's just get a green, like somewhere between levels seven and nine. Let's see if we can get a sword. 25 silver, not bad. Of the bear, one gold. Like, normally I wouldn't pay this much, but let's go ahead and grab it. Do the alts have bags? Yeah, yeah, they had bags. I, I bought myself a couple of 8-slot bags. I could have sent more over. Like, you know, I, I could have sent more resources and stuff over. I didn't want to send too much over. I, I, I want to get- I want to earn most of what I get here. The, the gold I'm saving for the mount. The gold is like my mount cheat. I'm not trying to like super deck this character out with a bunch of help though. I'm gonna try to earn most of what I get. So I, I bought a couple of bags off the vendor and I'm hoping that more bags will drop. I don't wanna I don't wanna fill up all my bags and then have a bunch of bags drop off the ground. That would be super sad. Super sad if that happens. My favorite race in class. Uh, in vanilla era you're probably looking at it. Uh, overall, Blood Elves, Blood Elves are the best race, and Warrior and Paladin are the best classes. But in Vanilla Era, it's probably hum humans or dwarfs. It boils down to, for me, in Vanilla Era. I'm, e I'm either probably going to be a human or a dwarf. Alright, you know the one thing we didn't get? We, 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 didn't get a, we didn't get a skinning knife. Weapon training, Alex, I already forgot it, man. Boom, gone. What what happened was I had the skill I needed to equip the sword, and then I didn't worry about it after that. But yeah, I said let's go do it, so of course, like, my brain ticked to the box that said, Okay, cool, you did it. Good job, you did it. And like, you know, I didn't do it. It's okay. And then when I equipped the sword, I was like, okay, well, we're going with the sword anyway. Had I gone with an axe, I would have been forced to go to train the weapons. We'll, we'll get it next time, and we'll stop in Karanos here and grab a skinning knife. It, it's a mostly vanilla playthrough. It's it's not a like optimized playthrough. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the same mistakes you've seen me make a million times. I'm gonna forget to train weapons. I'm gonna forget to empty my inventory. It's gonna be like a classic playthrough in every sense of the word. I, I'm going to do the things that I classically have done. Play sad! No. <laughs> the city cried out for me to play sad. And I whispered, no. That's what I have to say to that. You play sad. <laughs> Tell me how it is. Because I can't be bothered right now. Do I like Dragonflight overall? Yes. Am I playing Dragonflight right now? No. No, I'm waiting for War Within now. This is what this is what we're playing from now on. 
right here. You're looking at it. We're going to be doing this at least until, you know, if Sod Phase 3 opens up, I'll level to 50 and I'll park the character. Cool, that'll take a couple days. Uh, when the Kata pre-patch comes out, I will level up uh, my Blood Off Warrior and Kata. Like, that's going to be like a long ways off. Uh, so for now, we're doing this. Uh, I'm looking for the Trade Goods guy. Trade Goods. Maybe he's outside. That's awesome, Alex. You're you're picking up one of your hardcore characters. The, I remember when the 58 world, the one that died to bats in the plague lands, right? That's cool. I was look I was looking at my pallies too. Like I I might eventually pick up our 39 uh, dwarf pally and get her capped off after this character's capped. Because I'm like, man, I, I got you know I got the level 47 guy too. Uh, when I renamed him though, I gave him a stupid name, so I, I probably won't play him. But yeah, I'm gonna pick one of them up after I cap this character. And get them to 60. Alright, let's let's head back to the Yeti Cave. We have our skinning knife, we got a two-handed sword we have to skill up a little bit, and we should be good to go. Did I start playing WoW day one or later? Year one, year one, not day one. My buddy was in, in like the betas and he was playing day one and like he got me to like sit down and, and run a character through the game and I fell in love with it. But no, I wasn't there for like day one, minute one. But I was there for year one uh, and onward. So we're not we're not going to be hitting a lot here. But if I, if I oh well, I didn't really want two of them. We should be okay. We're actually we're actually hitting semi consistently enough to kill these guys at least. Well, they're only level six. If I keep spamming Rend, that will help us skill up a little bit faster. Harry, welcome to the stream, buddy. It's going well. I am doing good. Thanks for being here. Remember, I, I have skinning now. Now I can skin all of the things. Did I ever play RuneScape? No. No, I was never a RuneScape. I, I missed out on EverQuest and I missed out on RuneScape. I did play Final Fantasy XI. <laughs> on the PlayStation 2. If you can imagine that. So yeah, I, I guess like technically Final Fantasy XI on the PS2 was the first MMO that I really engaged with. You see, I'm, I'm an old person, so all, all of my memories of WoW are from when I was an adult. Even in Warcraft 3, I was, I must have been like 17 or 18 for Warcraft 3, so even then I was, I was still an adult for my Warcraft 3 memories. How long does it take to max out one character? It depends on what version of the game you're playing. Like, it, it's drastic. There are a couple different versions of WoW, and they all have, like, drastically different leveling speeds. We're playing Vanilla Era Classic, like, the original classic rule set. And in this version of the game, it, it can take you, like, 150 hours, you know, to get to max level, depending on if you're working on professions, or if you're following guides, or if you're just kind of making your own way. I'd, I'd say like about 150 hours up to maybe up to even 200 hours depending on like what kind of player you are but every version is different you know fa fast forward to wrath of the lich king classic you know without xp buffs i'd say like 80 or 90 hours fast forward to cataclysm probably like 50 or 60 hours fast forward to retail uh, about like 30 hours
Yeah, I'm, but I'm still old. You can be, you can be old too. But I, I am also old. I am older than many people who are hanging out. <laughs> I am comparatively older. Yeah. I, I don't feel old, but you know, it's just a numbers game at this point. Basically, I'll be referring to myself as old from here on out. Like once I once I pass the divide the divide of forty, like I'm gonna refer to myself as old from here on out. That's just like that's my personal metrics uh, for being old or young. It's like uh, from here on out, I'm I'm old. I'm, I'm not gonna be young again. So and that's that's just my categor categorizing system. I, I I'm not gonna hold anybody else to that system, but it's how I define things. So. Lori, good afternoon. I'm doing well. I can't speak for chat. I don't know. They seem like they're fine. L a little rowdy today. I know one of these guys has some bags for us. I can feel it. I'm already forgetting the skin. It's already happening. Is this official or a private server? It, it's it's official server. It's the server that it says in the uh, description. I think I have it in the description. It's Mancrick, which is a uh, U.S. East Classic era. You would you wouldn't really like be able to stream a private server on YouTube because of like legal problems. Mainly the legal problem is the fact that private servers aren't legal. So I've never played on a private server. It's an official private server. It it yeah, it's <laughs> Don't don't confuse anybody. <laughs> Let's keep our facts straight. I managed to aggro all three of them. This is one of those moments where, like, it, it's nice to not be on hardcore because, like, sometimes I like challenging myself and, like, seeing, like, how many enemies can I survive. Like, that's sometimes the fun of, of Classic Era is just finding out, like, what you can do with your class. When you're playing hardcore, you, you can't take any chances, so you, you never really get to push yourself. Or the class and, and like, see, like, how many Wendigo can I take at, at once. Like, apparently three of them are not really a problem. I wouldn't have been able to find that out if we were playing hardcore. I'd, I'd have had to play too carefully to do that. So, it, this is enjoyable to me because, like, sometimes we just get to, like, do absurd things and, like, see if we can handle it. Like, now that I know I can pull a couple of them, I don't mind, like, coming up here and rending them and starting them bleeding and then I can just kind of whittle them down. Yeah. 
Are the CATA beta invites still rolling out? Well, I can't I can't say for sure, but I'm I'm gonna assume that they're gonna keep inviting more and more people all the way up until until pre patch or launch. Yeah, like every week they'll probably invite more and more people, but obviously like I don't know for certain. That's just kind of what makes sense to me and what, what they seem to have done in the past. The the beta's really broke right now, like it'll it'll probably be in better shape in a week or two. Inventory's full, guys, it, it's happened. So uh, it did happen. Let's just hearth back to town and we'll we'll sell everything and we'll maybe I'll buy one more bag. Like maybe I'll buy a six slot bag and just like save some money. I know as soon as I do this, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a bunch of bags. Just like on the ground. <laughs> Let's see. I can get rid of the shield. I don't need I don't need these bullets. I don't need I guess I, I don't need the herbs anymore. So like am I hanging on I didn't check herb prices. So I'll hang on to the herbs for now, and then we'll kinda determine like do we want to hang on to the herbs and put them on the auction house or are we going to vendor them? But I'll hang on to them for now. Ah, uh, the tough jerky we don't need. Spring water can go. Boar ribs we need for a quest. Yeah, we gotta hang on to all of our animal meat. Um, stringy wolf meat, we can cook that, and I probably should go ahead and do that. And then that way we- let's not cook the boar meat, let's only cook the wolf meat, then we can sell it. Or apparently we can eat it, let's just hang on to it. Uh, and that's really all we can do, so yeah, if we're gonna be doing herbalism and skinning, I probably should just go ahead and buy another bag right now. Alright, let's head back out. We are level 10. Uh, we trained level 10, right? I'm I'm pretty sure we trained level 10, but maybe not, because maybe we just maybe we just hit level 10. Yeah, I didn't spend my talent points, so what are the odds that I've trained? Uh, okay, so I think I wanna go I think I wanna go into Fury, and for a while we're gonna do like a two-handed Fury build. Uh, until we can get like points in a dual wield spec. So I, I think I wanna go just into crit right away. Let's go five points into crit. And we'll see how this goes. Uh, warrior trainer is like right here. He's got a quest for us and everything. Uh, let's see, Mirren Stormpike. Find Mirren at the Hall of Arms in the military ward. Okay. So that's probably for defensive stance. Uh, we got Rend, rank two. We got Blood Rage. And apparently that's it. Uh, the Ren Ring 2 is already on the bar. And then Blood Rage I will put down here. Well, you'll have you'll have like four or five like weeks of pre-patch to give Kata a try. If you're talking about like trying out classes and systems, and if you're signed up for the beta, you will probably get invited to the beta before launch. If you're actually signed up. I'm balling with gold. I mean, I don't know if like is 55 gold balling. It's not really. It's it's a ha it's a lot of gold for right now. Yeah. Uh, this is this is gold from our hardcore characters who were retired or who died and got transferred here. So the 47 Paladin and the 39 Paladin, they both went with a lot of gold on them. And I feel like that's basically my classic inheritance. I worked hard for that gold, maybe. And uh, so I sent it to this character. Mainly it's for mount gold, it's mount money. You know, which, like, having 50 gold towards my mount money, like, that's not any worse than just playing a class like Paladin that doesn't have to pay for a mount at all, you know? I'm still gonna have to, like, scrounge up 50 more gold myself. So it's it's not even a free mount. So when viewed like that, it's not really a lot. I, I can't spend too much of it on gear and stuff. I gotta save it.
if I had 500 gold, then that that'd be that'd be rocking. That'd be that'd be way too much money. But 55, we'll uh, we'll spend it on the on the mount and be broke again. Uh, we are in combat with a couple of guys. Okay, okay, they've they've given up. Kazer, the first time you tried to play Saad, you accidentally made a character in Classic Era and played them until level 20. Whew, <laughs> that's, not, that's not too bad, but yeah, you got you got pretty far, actually. And then you were probably like, what are these What are these runes people are talking about? Like, wait, I'm supposed to be getting runes? What are runes? Wait, wait, wait. Why am I not finding any waylaid supplies? I'm hearing about these things in the community that I don't seem to have in my game. That, that would kind of suck. I can see how that would easily happen to somebody though, especially if you, if you haven't been playing like a lot of classic and you're not familiar with like switching between versions of classic and going to the server tab for hardcore. Yeah, it's it's a, it can be a little complicated. Anders, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Keep your feet on the ground. You got my attention. All right, before I forget, we should go down here and deliver the ammo to Rumble Shot. Oh, I also need one more Wendigo main. Yeah, we, we didn't quite finish that. We got close. We got close, but we didn't finish it. So we'll uh, we'll circle back for that one. Is WoW Classic still popular? Yes. Yes, it is. In basically all of its versions, it, it's still pretty popular, yeah. Especially around these parts.
We're still deep in the golden age of all things classic WoW. And hopefully we'll be there for a while. I like how with herbalism, like, I say I'm gonna go in one direction, and then, like, I, I start to follow the dots around for herbalism, and I get pulled in a completely different direction. It's going to happen very frequently. I love how the bear was in no hurry to casually walk up to us and start slashing us in the back. Like, typically you see the mob aggro and run up. That just that guy just kind of like moseyed on up and started slashing us. It was the most chill mauling that I've ever had. Normal or hardcore? It's in the title! <laughs> It's this is the most vanilla stream that we're doing. Yeah, this is all vanilla. This is not hardcore It's yeah, I got it all spelled out pretty well in the description. I think I think I updated the description Let me let me double check on that though Before I stick my foot right in my mouth. Yeah, no Kata or wrath no season of discovery No runes or waylaid supplies no solo self founder hardcore or other modifiers in this series will level as a human warrior in World of Warcraft classics vanilla era Yep this will be on the classic era Mancrick server US East. Yeah, it's all there. But I understand that that's a lot of reading for most people. It's it's a, it's a sod hardcore private server in the Wrath of the Lich King era. Yeah, so Wrath of the Lich King classic. <laughs> Always say yes. I, I'll just yeah exactly that's a good philosophy. And whenever somebody asks me what if the, if it's a certain version of the game, I will simply say yes. Just like if someone were to ask you if you were a god, you always say yes, just in case because you don't know what they're planning.
And what I'll do is I'll say yes no matter what. But if it's not true, I'll go yes. Yes, it is. I'll do I'll do one of those. Like I'll shake my head no. But I will just say yes. Which is harder to do than you would think. Try try saying yes, but shaking your head no. A uh, part of your brain like doesn't want to do it. You, you want to nod your head when you say yes. Yes. Yes, it is. It's, it's like you gotta like prep yourself to shake your head no and say yes. Puffy, it's going well. Welcome to the stream. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Is this Final Fantasy? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's, final, it's the Final Fantasy IX remake. <laughs> now you, this is what the, this is what chat's gonna do now. Yeah, exactly. I oh, I opened this can of worms. <laughs> yes. Great to meet you. Safe travels. Keep your feet Come on, on the ground. On our way. Mantar, good evening, buddy. Welcome to the stream. What do I need alchemy for? I don't. In fact, I've dropped it. <laughs> I should update that part of the description. Yeah, I dropped, I dropped alchemy for skinning. We're just going to gather stuff and we're going to sell it on the auction house. So we are actually doing skinning and herbalism. Let me update that. And what, what would I need alchemy for? Just potions, elixirs, all kinds of really useful shit. Like, there are good reasons to take alchemy. But we're not, we're not, we're doing skinning. There we go. Now the description is a little bit more accurate. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, utilize this guy as a vendor here, empty the inventory out. Maybe I should even hang on to the Malachite, like maybe this stuff sells okay on the auction house. We'll have a look. It vendors for 15 copper, so I guess if we sell it for anything, like above a silver, that's a pretty good profit. Uh, everything else we're gonna leave alone. Safe travel. All right, so we need to swing back by the Yeti cave. We need one more Wendigo main. And then we need to head back to town to swap out the barrels in the basement and get everything turned in. Katie, good afternoon. I am having a good day. Thanks for being here. Marcus, welcome to the stream, buddy. Look at how many herbs are on the mini-map right now. It's it's actually crazy. So many, it's like they intentionally put all these herbs in like the zone that you would expect to least find herbs. You wouldn't expect it. Not with all the snow cover. Oh, see, I meant to do a slash played at, at level 10 to see uh, how long we've been going. Let's see, slash played three hours, like almost four hours. So, like, I don't know where we were at when we hit 10. We might have been at like three and a half hours when we dinged level 10. The music is loud today. That's hilarious because in my, in my settings it doesn't show that way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lever the music down a little bit. And yeah, there we go. Let me know how that is. 
It's a, yeah. It, it looks fine on my end. I had a feeling it was loud, but then looking at my volume levels, it, it looked okay visually. Uh, and I don't think I, I don't think I want to make myself much louder. I can do that. Like, ooh, that's pushing the red. Let's. Yeah, let me know how that is. I, I did notice when I listened to yesterday's playback, like the music was sometimes a bit loud, but I never, I never felt like it was too, too loud. Sounds good now? Cool, cool. I'll, I'll leave it like this and we'll just kind of keep an eye on it. Do I plan for after the stream today? No, I think we've I think we've done most of our activities for the day. Maybe we might go for a walk or something. It, it's cold here and there's snow on the ground. E even though we're technically on spring break. So yeah, it's cold. There's a there's a, it looks like the day before Christmas outside. There's snow on the ground. There's snow clinging to the trees and it, it it's very unseasonable. But we we might go for like a mud hike, depending on uh, how the day goes. And it will be a mud hike. <laughs> I'm sure at this point everything is well and muddy. Yeah, she's doing good. Yeah, she's been okay. Alright, so that is, uh, that's everything we need. Let's head back to town. We need to take the, the barrel back to the basement. That's gonna have us run back and forth a couple times. We'll also stop at the Shimmering Flats, and we will, we'll get the Shimmerweed from the Trolls. That'll open up a kill quest. Yeah, I think that's how we'll, that's how, then we'll eventually make our way to the far, uh, west. For the Gnome Cogs and for the, the Troll Keep. Eventually, we will head back to Elwyn Forest. No, you're fine. Hey Alex, it's better now? Yeah, it, I, I noticed like some of the music tracks, they, they just get loud. They have moments when they're loud, they have moments when they're quiet. Like typically when I when I know it's like super loud, I'll I'll go over to OBS and I'll bump it down a bit. A cool a cool add-on like would be like an add-on that normalizes all the music tracks. Like I, I wonder if there is a thing like that or if there's not, like if it would be possible to for someone to do that. It'd be, just to have all the music I, the play at like more a more consistent night. volume. Uh, like we need to buy a couple of things, Rhapsody Malt and Thunder Ale. Especially to have something that would normalize like the city music. The city music is always too loud. You got my attention. Off with you. What's on your mind? It could be compressed, but it would make it less dynamic. Yeah, see, that'd be a bad trade-off too. Like if it, if it made it if it made it more balanced, but it put it into like mono sound or something, that that would be unfortunate. An unfortunate externality. Um, let's see. We got a cooking recipe. Apparently, I'm just like I'm not really leveling my cooking up very much. 
I might have to take fishing. I was kind of debating whether I wanted to do fishing or whether I was going to try to level cooking without it and just like grind on enemies that we know drop meat. At least if I'm like, if I'm grinding on enemies that we know drop meat, at least like some of the time I'll be getting experience. As opposed to like fishing doesn't really, doesn't give me much besides fish. Buffalo Bill, good afternoon, man. My weekend is going pretty well. Thanks for being here. Thanks for asking. Here there. Be good. How are you? Be good. Safe travels. Keep your feet on the ground. Karen, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Everything's going good. Thanks for being here. Buffalo Bill, you like the goblin questing better than the worgen questing? Huh. I, I think I, I think I'm gonna like like the next goblin area. I guess like aesthetically I didn't really like their uh, their initial town. Something about the roads, I don't know. I kinda went on a little rant, I think, explaining like how I kinda felt overall about like the goblin lore. The weird thing is like, I kinda like how the goblins look as character models. But yeah, like their lore is just like maybe not for me. The one thing I'll say is, like, the Goblin area has been less buggy than the Worgen area. Like, the Worgen series, I'm gonna put on hold. I'm gonna do that when the uh, when prepatch when prepatch actually comes out and there's less bugs. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the Worgen series then. But the Goblin series, I might be able to finish in the beta because it just seems like overall a little bit less buggy. I'm I'm hoping the island aesthetic or wherever I'm at on the Goblin's gonna be a little bit better than the uh, the whatever we were in the slums or wherever we were before. It, it looked like just like weird slumish area. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really dig it. I wish they would make the. Basically, I just want them to make goblins a little grittier, like a little bit more, like less less of a joke. If they were gritty and like less of a joke, then I might actually like enjoy them. 
but it's it's wow so it just feels like each faction has to kind of have their joke race you know like the the alliance has has gnomes like gnomes are kind of the funny ha ha like joke race tinkerers and then now the horde has goblins because we have we have to be fair to the factions everybody has to have a joke race Yeah, the the as that's that's the thing as character models like the worgen look weird. Like the worgen don't look how I remember them. But then I remembered that at some point they did a rework on the worgen because so many people disliked like something about the old worgen models that they eventually reworked them. They made them look a little bit different. Uh but yeah, I, I don't really care for the look of the worgen, but I, I like their zone, like the aesthetic in their zone is better, but the character model is not. And then on the goblin side, I like the character model, but the zone and the aesthetic are, were not to my liking, so... It's been a mixed bag. What's on your mind? Watch your back. Be good. Interest you on a fight? Watch your back. Off with you. Uh, let's go after the shimmer weed. I, I kind of meant to do that on the way out, and I, I forgot. So before we go do anything else, let's let's double back, and we'll go after the shimmer weed. Blood Moon, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. Oh dear god, I think I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> no! I wanted to take on like three or four of them. Uh, I would have- oh, we, we might live. I could pop a potion. I wanted to take on three or four of them. I do want to kill Timber. So let, let's go back and maybe I can try to do this a little bit more carefully. We didn't die. It's the cool thing is it's not scary because it's not hardcore. I just get to have fun and do like stupid pulls that don't make sense and see what happens. It doesn't even matter. That's the best thing about this playthrough is that I can literally like try to fight four guys at once to have a fun time of things and like push myself on the character, but it doesn't have to matter. I mean, it matters whether we succeed or not, obviously, because I'd like to be successful, but I, I can die. I, guys, I can die. It's fine. It's fine. Nobody stress out, okay? It's supposed to be- it's a chill stream in the sense that, like, we can't get killed. So don't worry about it. That's, like, one of the aspects I'm starting to like. Is that if I- if I want to wind up, like, three guys and get them all grouped up and, like, bleed them out and, like, wear them down, I can do that. And I don't have to feel like I'm not being safe or, or like, feel guilty for stressing you guys out. Like, I can just do what I want in combat. And I can have a fun time of it. And that's that was something that, like, you know, I haven't gotten to do that in Classic Era in a long time. Because usually in Classic Era, we're just playing hardcore. Yeah, but most... Yeah, check out, check out the description. The description does a better job of exactly what I mean. But there's only so much I can fit into the title, so... Okay, so now it's Timber and like a few other wolves. Let's let's do let's do it. Let's spread the bleed around. I should have I should have popped my potion and stuff first. That would have been a good idea, my armor potion. If we can kill Timber here, we might get it. If we do if we don't kill Timber, well yeah, let let's loot Timber and let's run. This- this might be a death. Ooh, 12 HP. If we get hit again, we're probably dead. Oh, we're good. We're safe. We- we did loot, so we got silver 
silver lined abrasers. Okay, so nothing good. Whew. It's close. Back on real vanilla. That that's right. Yes, we are. Yeah, we are we are back in the best version of the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it's going to be really fun to push ourselves and see, like, exactly what we can live through and what we can't. I'm also kind of looking forward to, like, taking on elite villages, like, soloing some elites. I think that'll be a lot of fun. We'll probably have to have, like, a couple levels on them, but yeah, I want to solo as many elite quests as we can. I haven't played Sod in a while. No, I got my I got my character waiting at level 40, so I'll play some Sod as soon as I can level up to level 50. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll level the character up to level 50 and then I'm just I'm going to let them sit until they open the the band up to 60. And once we can level to 60, then I'll be interested in seeing like what the end game content is. Once we're at actual end game, I will I'll check out whatever they do. But besides that, the only way I'm go- Ooh, this is gonna be bad. That's too many casters. Too- too many casters, chat. Oh, yeah, but I'm not gonna play a bunch of sod besides leveling my pally up. Yeah, if, if they wanna have a season that keeps people playing, like, more consistently, they're gonna have to do something different besides just having a raid every few levels. Like for I think the first thing is like don't don't shorten the journey too much uh, like for a season and then the second thing is like let people level up all the way. Don't stop people's leveling. Like if you want to give an experience bonus, I would say like give a twenty five percent XP bonus. Don't ever increase it from twenty five percent, and then let people level their characters all the way up to cap. And that would probably be better. I would probably have been more engaged with the season if I didn't- if I- if I wasn't forced to stop leveling my characters at certain intervals, there's less chance that I stop caring about those characters. And so maybe if they ever do it again, maybe they won't do it with the level bands. Lots of- lots of other games do seasons of their game, like Diablo, Path of Exile. I've never heard of anybody creating artificial level bands in their seasons, so... Especially in a version of the game that, like, historically for people has been mostly about the journey. Um, you know, like, Classic Era is, like, it's just a big, big journey. And so, like, telling someone, like, at random intervals, like, Oh, journey's over for now. <laughs> yeah, it feels a little bit weird for Classic. I almost feel like, like, the season of Discovery, how they imagined it, like, might... I don't know. I don't know if there's any version of the game that it works better in, I guess, but, like, it's... The level bands are not a good model for, for Classic Era. And they, they did it, like, they thought that people would roll a bunch of alts, which, you know, I think a lot of people did. I rolled a bunch of alts to level 25. Uh, but when it came to getting characters up to level 40, and, like, especially dealing with the dungeon grind, like... Uh, they did a couple of things, like, the bonus XP makes it even more so, so that, like, dungeon grinding is the way to go. Which is another thing that kind of stops it from feeling like Classic Era, is when you're just spending 20 levels inside of the same three dungeons. I kind of burned out on the Paladin doing that. Let's see if we can kill these guys. Um, because otherwise we're not going to get in here. 
If we don't take any like massive crits and we kill the seers quick, we might be okay. Let's pop our last potion here. There we go. Should be all right. Yeah, I think I think honestly, sod will be a better experience for people once like it's opened up to sixty. Once they have whatever experience buff that they're gonna put in, like once that's done, they're not toying with the XP buff anymore. It's not gonna be increased randomly. Once that's all settled, it'll probably be a better environment for people that want to level up. Um, you know, we're ho hopefully they'll have done at that point. There will be like thirty runes per class, so we're we're hoping that maybe there will be some like early rune changes that just help you get your rune abilities a little bit easier with less time like at a lower level especially if the game has like a big xp buff in it still but yeah it could be better for people at 60. uh for for me i'm just gonna focus on my paladin and we'll get that we'll get that to cap and see if they if they actually have any content that's worth doing at cap then we'll check it out I, th I think for classic era, like if you want to do seasons of classic era, the content that you add to like the middle of the game, it, it probably shouldn't be raids. If you want to add content to the middle of like the game, if you want to add content to the leveling journey, then make some new quest hubs, make some new, just some new five mans maybe. Like don't don't make like PvP events for leveling up or raids for leveling up. Like save all that stuff for level sixty. But if you want to add new content to a season of classic, like in the in the meaty part of the game, then add new quests, add new hubs, uh, like add stuff to zones that that don't have a lot of stuff going on in classic era. You could put a quest hub in Azara for like level thirty to forty players. That'd be a great uh, a great time to have more places to quest. You can flesh out places like the blasted lands add more quests to places like the badlands swamp of sorrows like there's all kinds of opportunities to like add content to the classic game and still have it feel like a classic journey but with more stuff to do and i, I don't think low level raids are really like the answer for a season of classic that feels like you're playing classic uh this this might be a death I'm, I'm missing those uh, alchemy potions right about now. Murdered. I thought I killed that one. What what happened there? I thought I killed two of them. I guess not. Hmm. We're we're gonna have to buy potions. Like I I need to have potions at all times. So I'm gonna have to check on the auction house. And we'll, we'll check vendors. Like sometimes vendors will have them. But yeah, we're gonna have to have potions on us. So. I probably just need to avoid the the Murder Wolf Island. We've already killed the rare, so we, we don't need to be near Murder Wolf Island. Lael, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream.
talk to me. Watch your back. Off with you. Be good. Watch your back. All right, so now we also have the quest to go after the ice claw bears, the elder crag borers, and the snow leopards in this area. Uh, so let's focus on this one for a bit, and eventually we'll start fighting the gnomes and the trolls. Nice, level 11. We are going to go into some more crit. How do I not get bored playing the same classes and areas again and again? I don't know. There's probably something just wrong with me. I'm probably like mentally deficient in some way. I, I see it like every every time it's a different journey. You know, even though it's the same quest, we don't we don't always do them in the same order. To me, it's just like it's relaxing. It's cathartic. Like it's just a place I like to spend my time. I don't know. That was a very nice druid. They, they gave us uh, Mark of the Wild and Thorns, so. Yeah, not, not quite meditation, but yeah, I find it really chill and just calming. And these days I get to hang out with you guys, so. It's kind of like a win-win. But like honestly, like if you, if you think about like a lot of activities that people do that people enjoy, it like it's the same activity over and over again. Like let's say you're you're on like a bowling team, like you go bowling, you, you're doing the same thing every Tuesday. You're you're going to the lane, it's the same bowling place. You're throwing the ball down the lane, you're hitting the pins. Let's say you know you enjoy running, so you go and you run every day, or you maybe you weightlift every day. It's like a lot of the things that people come to really enjoy are like these these semi-repetitive tasks these things that like they have variation in them to some degree but they're very familiar and very much like the same task i, I think there's just something like naturally human uh, about it a daily questing yeah that's your daily quest Glenn, good afternoon, man. 
Welcome to the stream, and thanks for being here. Yeah, exactly. Pe people are creatures of habit, and we, we take comfort in it. You know, and that being said, it, there's always a time and a place for new, you know? I often try new games on the channel to see if I like them, to see how you guys feel about them. So there's always a time and place for that, too. You know what happened? We died a couple of times, and I never turned back on my find herbs. And look at that. We are standing right next to an herb. Our inventory is very full. Let's start heading back towards Brunel Village. <laughs> Ryan, that's crazy, man. That's that's not a good place to end up. You know, you, you don't want to end up in that place. You don't want to be that person. Yeah, it could have been like a distraction, some kind of distraction. I think like momentary distractions are to blame for like a lot of car accidents. It's, it's not always like road conditions. They go the speed limit. If the speed limit is 95 miles per hour, then yes. <laughs> 
and then they're going the speed limit. Like, it used to be, like, when I was younger, people would go, like, you'd, you'd go five miles over the speed limit, like, whatever the speed limit was. That's kind of, like, how you were, like, brought up to go, like, okay, the speed limit's 65, you can go 70 and you'll be okay. And now I feel like people just automatically add, like, 10 miles an hour to the speed limit. They're like, speed limit's 70? I'll do 80, no problem. Be good. Part of it is that, like, cars are so awesome now. Like, cars are so awesome that you can do, like, 95 miles an hour and, like, you don't feel it. You don't feel like you're doing 95 miles an hour. When I started driving, I was driving, like, an 89 Ford Taurus with no brakes. So, like, getting her up to 65, like, I, you could feel that you were going fast. Like, the better car you have, the more likely you are to, to speed. You just don't feel the speed. Uh, my inventory is getting full of leather. The leather scraps, I think I'm going to vendor the leather scraps. I don't think there's a good argument to hang on to them to put on the auction house. What do you guys think? Do you think the ruined leather scrap stacks are going to sell on the auction house? Because I'm just like, yeah, they're starting to fill my inventory up a bit. Uh, let's cook some of the charred wolf meat. See, I'm, I'm one of those annoying people that tries to do exactly the speed limit. Like, I, I try to, act, like, as, as studiously as I can, I try to follow the exact speed limit for wherever I'm at. I'm one of those people. I'm the people that, like, I cause other people to have road rage, because you're, like, stuck behind me, and the speed limit's 70, and I'm doing 70. And you want to do 80, you can go around me. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to speed up. No matter how close to me you get, I'm not going to speed up. Blood Moon, I appreciate that. Thank you. I will definitely use those. That's awesome. All right, so we have a little bit of inventory space. Let's let's head over to where the gnomes are at, and we'll start working on gnomes, and then we'll head down to Frostmain Hold in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it, it, I'm, it makes me a responsible driver, but it, it doesn't make me normal. Trust me. <laughs> Around here, like I don't know how it is in other places. But in the states that I've lived in, uh, both Missouri and Michigan, and Michigan's a little bit worse than Missouri was, like, you, you, people don't go the speed limit. People, people will go, like, you're gonna go, like, at least 10 to 15 miles over the speed limit in most cases if you're, if you're the majority of people. Like, when I'm out on the roads and I'm doing the exact speed limit, whether it's 35 or 45 or I'm on the expressway and it's 70, like, I am the exception. Most people are going uh, faster than that. They're like pe people take it as like a suggestion. They're like, oh, suggested speed seventy. I'll do eighty. I can do eighty. Eighty's fine. And as long as there's not a patrol officer around, then they can do that and they get away with it. Even the cops pass you. Yeah, I love it when cops have to pass me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm doing the speed limit. They want to go faster in the speed limit. They got to pass me. You, you, you're still going to have to pass me, even if you're a cop. Definitely not going to get me to speed up. You know, I, I, and, I, and I feel like, yeah, I feel like cars are safe enough. Here's the thing, like, it, it, I honestly feel like cars are safe enough. Like, people are doing 75 or 80, that's fine. Like, you're fine. Like, if you're a person that does, like, 5 over the speed limit, you know, or you're on a long drive, you're doing 10 over, like, I get it. Like, you probably have a nice car. It's As long as nothing's going on with the road conditions, you're probably perfectly safe. Like, cars are amazing nowadays. The cars can definitely handle like higher speeds than they used to be able to safely. 
And, and a lot of the speed limits come from a time when cars had less safety like measures. Uh, cars did not have all the safety they have built into them today. And also cars used to be made out of like solid steel, which like causes accidents to be much more horrendous when like inertia gets involved. Um, so like I feel like it's probably fine, but I, I just do I just do what the sign says because mainly like I don't want to risk getting a ticket. And so like you know I had my I had one speeding ticket that was in Missouri. It was like must have been eight or nine years ago. It was like a four hundred dollar ticket. It was like four in the morning. I was driving back from a business trip. I got pulled over for I was going like ten over the speed limit. Middle of the night, I got pulled over, and it was like a four hundred dollar ticket. It, it was no joke, and that was the last time that I ever went over the speed limit. Because even though, like, there was no one else on the roads, even though it was the middle of the night, even though the road conditions were fine, it was still 400 bucks. It was, it was crazy. <laughs> and so I said, never again. Yeah, it was funny like when I got pulled over like that for doing 10 over it's like a bigger infraction so like when I got pulled over he wrote me the ticket for 10 over and like the money the money I had to pay was for 10 over but like he wrote it so that the the points I got on my license were only for five over so like he wrote it in such a way that like it got all the money but you know it, it didn't give me all the points that would have otherwise like went on to my driving record which I guess was nice. <laughs> you see where their priorities are at. You know, they, they definitely want need the money more than they need to put points on your record. I think I thought it was funny how they were able to do stuff like that. How they can write it, it's 10 over, but the way they write the ticket, it's less points, but the same money. It's quite a bit of uh, a flexibility they seem to have. Some of these misses are gonna kill us. Like, if there's a big difference between like missing a couple of times and not missing at all. Ooh, that was that was really close. Just a few critical misses. It's all it takes to turn the tide of battle. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, the misses are they're worth it though for those uh, battles where you get like two enormous crits in a row. You know, it's like it's always like one of the, you're either gonna miss a lot, but then there are times when your crits are just insanely big crits, and you get like a couple of them in one fight. It makes the misses worth it. We are running low on inventory space again. Uh, we're going to have to head back to the village before we go into Frostmane Hold. And then I think when we finish up like this series of quests, we will head back to Elwyn Forest. That would be a good time to do some more things over in Elwyn. I don't. I don't think I want to go to Teldrassil. Like I, I think we'll do Darkshore probably at level like 16 or 17. We'll go to Darkshore, but I don't think I'm gonna work Teldrassil in. I think we'll just we'll probably just end up doing it like a little bit of extra grinding for cooking and for skinning, so we shouldn't really need to. Irakli, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by.
Dustin, welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Alright, that is everything we need from the gnomes. Let's go to the village, we'll vendor, and then we'll go take on the trolls at Frostmain Hold. Yeah, it's the best version of the game. That's why I, I think like people will always come back to Classic Era eventually. Even if it like falls in and out of like popularity. I think ultimately people will always be drawn back to it. To Honestly, yeah, like in my opinion, it's it's the best version of the game. Yep, we're gonna have to be headed to Iron Forge. We gotta get some of this stuff up on the auction house. Our, our bags are really, really full. There's not really a lot else I can vendor. Uh, we could cook a little bit of meat and we could sell some of it. Like, we can probably just sell the boar meat. Yeah, let's go ahead and cook this and then we'll vendor it. And before we go to the troll cave, I have to bio. I will be right back. One second.
Oh, we are capped out on skinning at 75. Yeah, we're gonna do this, and then we'll get everything turned in, and then we will head to Ironforge. Uh, we got a bunch of training to do. A bunch of training to do, and a bunch of stuff that has to go up on the auction house. Blood Moon, I appreciate that. Thank you. Alright, so I, I think we can hearth out of here now. Yeah, let's go back. We'll turn everything in. And we'll make our way to Ironforge. We do have a turn in uh, uh, for the warrior quest here. But yeah, we should be just about ready to head back to Elwyn Forest.
Well met. See you soon. Safe travels. Uh, you know, I, I kind of would like to have an even number for my stack here. Let's fight a couple more things in the area and see if I can get up to 20 light leather uh, for this last stack. There we go. That way we can just get all of it out of the inventory. Crossick, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. We 
We could also check the auction house for like maybe a couple pieces of gear. I notice I'm wearing a leather chest plate. Hmm. All right. But first, let's sell everything. Let's take a look at leather prices. How am I enjoying Classic Era? Um, it's the best version of the game, so I'm having a good time. Uh, let's see, what are stacks of 20 selling for? Oh dear god. Are there no stacks of... Oh, there, there we go. Uh, so, stack of 20, 14 silver. Okay, okay, it's not a lot. 14 silver is not a lot, but I feel like that might be more than it vendors for. And then I'm assuming that scraps don't sell for much at all. But let's uh, let's take a look. Everyone should go back to playing Classic Era, and we, we should just confuse the devs. So that they don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. So yeah, not really anything for sale. Maybe, maybe I just vendor these. I feel like I might get that much per stack anyway. Uh, herbs, let's check herbs. I'm assuming herbs are going to be relatively valueless. At this point. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to end up like just vendoring herbs. I'll sell the ones that I have, like, on the auction house, but, like, eight silver for a stack, that's not really... not really worth holding on to it. Like, the inventory space is worth more... to me. So, I'll, I'll, I think I'll vendor the herbs, and at least for a while, until we start getting higher level herbs. Uh, let's check on the price of, uh, silver leaf. Yeah, like, let's see, like, two two silver for an entire stack. Five, eight, like, let's set it at four. Let's do four silver a stack, and... But yeah, I think I'll vendor these in the future. And then once we start getting, uh, like, higher level herbs, we'll check the prices again. Uh, anything else? Uh, we could check the Malachite. That vendors for 15 copper, so... Let's see. Um, we can get like two silver out of it. Uh, let's see, we have three of them. We could put three up for seven. Let's do that. Let's put three of them up for seven silver. And I think that's good. I think we'll vendor everything else. How long am I going to play today? Um, a, a little bit longer. Yeah, I was going to play for a little bit longer. Alright, so our next step is actually to go back to Elwyn Forest and pick things up over that way. So this is probably a, actually a good time to stop for today. I think I will take a break right here. I really appreciate you guys hanging out. I am having a really good time on this character. 
Uh, as far as, like, the main WoW streams go, I plan to keep playing this character, like, basically exclusively. Um, and probably until, like, Kata pre-patch. May maybe if Sod Phase 3 were to open up, maybe I would level the 50. But other than that, uh, I'm gonna keep focusing on this character and getting them to 60. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you guys are down for the ride. Uh, if you are enjoying hanging out, leaving a like, subbing to the channel if you're not already, ringing the bell, all that stuff really does help me out a lot, and I appreciate those that do. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there in the real world, and take care of each other, and we will see you back here again very soon.